26 find out the correct statement. First option, all the groups of protists have both autotrophic and heterotrophic organisms. No, all group of protists means diatoms, dinoflagellates, euglenoids and the protozoans. All of them have autotrophic as well as heterotrophic organisms. No, diatoms, dinoflagellates and euglenoids, they are photosynthetic protists whereas protozoans are heterotrophic. Second one, only those protists are photosynthetic which have cell wall. No, euglenoids, they are photosynthetic and they lack cell wall. They have pellicle as the outermost covering. Third one, protozoans are linked between plants and animals. No, protozoans are considered to be the primitive ancestors of the animals. So they can be considered as primitive animals, but not the link between plants and animals. Fourth one, chief producers in the ocean belong to the kingdom protista. Yes, it is true because diatoms are the chief producers of the oceans and they are protists. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 97. A fungus that causes a particular disease in potato has following characteristics. The mycelium is septate and branched, asexually reproduced by conidia. Plasmogamy and karyogamy are absent in the life cycle. Considering the above features, we can place the fungus in the class. You can see this feature, which is very particular, that plasmogamy and karyogamy are absent in the life cycle. Only one single class that is deuteromycetes does not show sexual reproduction and that's why they are called fungi imperfecti. So the members of class deuteromycetes, they do not show sexual reproduction and plasmogamy and karyogamy, they are the phases of sexual reproduction. So this fungi must belong to the class deuteromycetes. Asexually reproduced by conidia, it happens in members of deuteromycetes. The mycelium is septate and branched. Yes, it is again true for the members of deuteromycetes. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. But what is this fungus? What is the name of this fungus which causes the disease in the potato? It is Alternaria solenae. Let's move to the next question. Question number 98. The structures that do not arise from the aerial parts of the plants are pneumatophores, stilt roots, prop roots, axillary buds. Pneumatophores, stilt roots and the prop roots, they all are roots. Axillary buds are seen in the axil of the leaf. Stilt root and the prop roots, they are adventitious roots. They arise from the stem. So they arise from the aerial parts. Pneumatophores, they are respiratory roots they come out vertically from the ground and they are meant for the absorption of oxygen from the atmosphere so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question question number 99 select the incorrect match from the following pericarp develops from the wall of the ovary it is true because pericarp is the fruit wall and fruit wall develops from the wall of the ovary Coconut fibrous droop. It is also true that coconut is a droop type of fruit that's too fibrous. Third one, parthenocarpic fruit, seed bearing fruit. No, parthenocarpic fruits lack seeds. They don't have seeds because they are formed without fertilization. And if there is no fertilization, there is no formation of seeds. Fourth one, tegman, the seed coat. Yes. Tegman is the seed coat. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 100. Dash are specialized parenchymatous cells connected with dash by pit fields present between their common longitudinal walls. Companion cells are the specialized parenchymatous cells which are connected with the sieve tube elements by pit fields present between their common longitudinal walls. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. 